Investigators warned that predators target so children on social media platforms and uh, even gaming platforms. CBS 2's Ariana Piper tells us what you can do to protect your kids while they're online. They're going to find a target. They're going to pretend to be maybe a little boy, little girl down the street and go to a different school, same age, same hobbies. They're going to develop that relationship and obviously take it from there. Christopher McCormick, the Idaho Internet Crimes Against Children Commander, or ICAC, says predators will target children online at any age, even as young as six years old. Unfortunately, it's some bad guy in his basement, 40 years old, that's is trying to potentially do harm to the child. Dave Gomez, the school resource officer for Idaho City, says some parents don't realize the gravity of the situation. I was on a task force for a summer where we were bringing in predators who thought they were coming to meet younger girls using fake accounts. And we could bring in a, a, a person every single day, an adult person who thought they were going to meet somebody for sexual contact every single day, multiple times a day. SRO Gomez says it's important parents monitor and limit how much time their kids spend on social media. It's good to have those controls on phones, but don't rely on those alone. Make sure that you as a parent are snooping and, you know, verifying what your kids are doing and who they're talking to and how late they're spending on their phones. Both experts say it's never too early for parents to start talking to their kids about Internet safety. A lot of this comes down to being frank. You know, don't beat around the bush. Make sure your children recognize that if they get themselves in a bad situation, which, which we hope they don't, but if they get to that point that they can come back to mom and dad to get advice or, or find a way to get out of this. Ariana Piper, CBS 2 News. For resources on Internet safety, we'll put a link on our website. It'll be in this story on IdahoNews.com.